everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Brisa. Today I'm going to teach you the third parts of uh, a panorama and classroom, or uh, we can say also like uh, uh, a panorama phrases used in the classroom, but you can use even outside of the classroom, okay? So this is the third part, and I will continue with this third part. Is uh, actually, I already told you about something about the title we cover within this tutorial. The first one is about the beginnings of the class. I already completed uh, this tutorial for the first part, which is uh, about this one, beginnings of the class. I told you about 36 of the phrases used in the classroom at the beginning. But today I'm going to teach you something else, which is during the class, in the middle of teaching the student, how you can use a panorama like natives, okay? So I will teach you that. And the first, I will teach you about instruction, uh, what kind of instruction we can say to student or how we can describe or explain about an instruction. On the second part, I will teach you about the comprehension. Today, I will complete both of them at the same means within a, a single video. So you just listen both of them carefully and you will learn around 21 different phrases used in the classroom. Around 12 of them are about the instruction and there are about nine of them is comprehension. On the left part, so we will continue on the coming tutorials, okay? If you have questions, don't forget to write down on the comments, okay? If you have any questions, don't forget to write down on the comments, okay? If you haven't seen all this video about these parties, you can watch them in, in the link given at the end of this video or at the description of the video, okay? In the description of the video, so you can get it. Okay, today's new topic, which is during the classroom in the middle of uh, teaching the student, if you wanted to give some instruction or if you wanted to make them comprehend or if whether they already understand or not, you can use different ways in a form as well, okay? So I'm going to teach you that one. Okay, the first one. Instruction means actually in a form we call it ajaja. Ajaja. Ajaja jechun in instruction in English. And of tani of tani means are you ready? Are you ready? And the second one, hundikesan. Then we can ask this. Hundikesan means everybody. Everybody do is homework or everybody try this question. Undication gafikan yala yokinimo undication or chimana can object down. You can say like that, okay? The third one is, for example, look at this. Undication yadan kaba. Undication yadan kaba means pay attention, everybody. Pay attention, everybody means undication yadan kaba. Taba kesen fula kura lama bana. Taba kesen fula kura lama bana. Kura lama means 12. You can say it, open your book at page 12. Open your book at page 12 means Taba kesen fula kura lama bana. Kube saf kube simbarbajisa. Kube saf kube simbarbajisa means you need a pen and a pencil. Pen and pencil. Pen means in a farm, we can say it. Kube. Pencil means kubesa. This one again. The next is why blank button. If, if you want to tell the student about the title you are going to teach, the teacher can say why this is. Means we will learn about something. This blank, okay? You want to use the, that title, okay? You can put it title here. Why then the subject or the topic you are, you are going to teach a student, and you can say it, okay? We will learn about like this. Okay, good. If you have guys to write down on the comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I will continue. 
kana hojjechuuf daqiiqa shan abdu kana hojjechuuf daqiiqa shan abdu means you have 5 minutes to do this you have 5 minutes to do this and it means this okay this one for do is actually we can say hojjechuuf in case of daqiqa is uh, minutes then the left part you can add it kaba means having something okay good the next one is full shaniti dabarsa full shaniti dabarsa turn it to page five we can say like this the other is kucha toko tukwa toko ilala kucha toko tukwa toko ilala means look at activity 1.1 Look at activity 1.1. Fantastic. And we'll continue. Here. Anabodan Pisa. Anabodan Pisa means actually we can say repeat after me or read after me. Both of them are the same in a far more. Anabodan Pisa or read after me or repeat after me. Error DBA. Error DBA means. Again, please, or say it again. They are the same meaning with radibia. The next is enyu kaniti anu. Enyu kaniti anu means who's the next. We can actually put the here if it is needed. But who the next or who's next for the demand acceptable. Okay, good. The other thing is about comprehension. Whether they already understood or not, if you wanted to make sure about that one, you can use Hubachu. Actually, comprehension means Hubachu in a final room, okay? Then, can say Hubatani. Hubatani means do you get it? Do you get it means Hubatani. Or you can say Sinif Gale. They are the same meaning, okay? Then it's this Hordofaj too. Ordofajr tu means are you with me or are you following me like that, okay? Yarida. Yarida means are you okay? Means do you understand if that clear for you like that, okay? So the next is about Nahordoftani here. Nahordoftani. Nahordoftani means do you follow me? Do you follow me? The next is Hang Amma Sinif Gale. Hang Amma Sinif Gale. Or we can say, put I here. Is Sinif Gale. When we put I here, we can add I again here. Is Sinif Gale. This means, okay, so far, do you understand until now? Like that, okay? Sinif Gale. We can say also Sinif Gale. Sinif Gale means actually, do you understand? Do you understand means Sinif Gale or we can put I here. Is Sinif Gale? Is Sinif Gale? Both of them are acceptable, guys. You can use this Sinif Gale or Is Sinif Gale? Let me write here. Is Sinif Gale? Or you can say Sinif Gale. Both of them are acceptable. The difference between them is putting I and omitting I. Here, this one again. Okay? Sinif Gale or Sinif Gale, both of them means do you understand? Do you understand like that? Next is Mal Jette. Mal Jette means what did you say? What did you say means Mal Jette. The next is Me Altaka Eradivia. Me Altaka Eradivia means one more time, please, or say it again like that, okay? Same name. RDB or DBA. RDB means for singular. RDB for plural. Okay, for a number of people, a lot of people. RDB get your. We can say RDB get this one. When we use DBA, we will continue to the next one. This one again. Okay? Instead of DB, it will finish it here. It will stop it here. Irradiabi, or ir, this one, and 
Libya will the third one. Red Libya Jeddah like this. Say it again, please. Say it again, please. We are the same many okay? Good. Okay, it is going to be the last one. Okay, yeah, that's all. All these are for two days. If you have kids, you write down on the comments. I don't wanna give you a lot of uh, phrases for today because uh, I just wanted to put a simple video, a single video, okay, short video. It's very good for people to follow me. Thank you very much for listening until now. If you have kids, write down on the comments or if you have any kind of suggestion, you are always welcome to send me email or just write down on the comment, okay? I will pray for you as soon as possible. Okay, thank you.